Hello Trophy Hunters, Josh here from the Platinum Trophy bringing you this week's uh, drop, the new games launching for the week of the 28th of April 2020. This is a new series of videos or content I want to start looking at making where we look at what all the new stuff is that's coming out this week and we can have a look at what the trophies are, what the content looks like and sort of just break it down a little bit. Let's just have a quick look through all the games that are coming out this week. So we've got, uh, the first one we have here is called Active Neurons. Uh, it's coming out on PS4 and Vita. Uh, it looks like it's a puzzle game. Um, I don't know when the trophies went live. That, that's the thing about this is that this is a really good way to look at all the content that's coming out. But some of it, there's no trophies for yet. Uh, some of it there is. So Active Neurons, it has nine golds, six bronze, uh, six silvers and three bronze. The reason it interested me is because it was so heavy on golds and silvers. We've only got one owner so far and there's no no one's earned the platinum yet. But having a look at it, it does just look like a really basic puzzle game. Pulled up the uh, some gameplay here from YouTube and yeah, it's about what I expected. It's some sort of block puzzle type game. Someone called Trophy Germany, shout out to Trophy Germany, has got a full gameplay walkthrough. Um, already so maybe uh, maybe the trophy well, I mean no one's got the platinum yet so I don't know how he could have a full gameplay walkthrough but yeah some sort of gameplay walkthrough it looks like you've got to use the tiny cube oh it's one of those I know this kind of game it's one of those slide puzzle games you move the block left right up down but it can only move in a straight line until it stops you have to use the other things in the environment to stop it that means that if you had a guide maybe like this guy's guide this one should be really, really easy to finish it. Uh, the trophies are change each of the neurons, charge each of the neurons, charge the brain, destroy the dangerous square, open the door, teleporting, smash. They all look really easy. I would say this is gonna be an easy platinum. Something to watch out for, for sure. Uh, next, we have Arcade Spirits. I've had a look online for this. I can't find anything about this game. I have no idea what it is. Uh, what if a 1983 video game marketing crash never happened? Set in 2000XX, Arcade Spirits is a visual novel romantic comedy. It's a visual novel, which tells me maybe it is going to be, like, easy. However, the fact that there's, like, nothing about it means that's just impossible to tell at this stage. Generally speaking, though, visual novels have, like, a fast-forward feature, so you can skip through. But, because there's no trophy list, this might not even have a platinum yet, so that's important to point out, too. Uh, Book of Demons, uh, it's a hack and slash card game hybrid type thing. I've pulled the trophy list up for this one as well. Um, it's a more standard list with 10's bron 10 bronze, 3 silvers, 9 gold, and 1 platinum. Uh, there's a guy here in the comment section who's said that it looks like it's going to be easier than the Steam version. Um, apparently there was more grindy achievements in the Steam version which they removed from this version. So that's kind of interesting. But I don't know about this one. Uh, I don't know enough about this series or anything like that. Doesn't look like a super easy platinum. Damia looks really interesting. This, uh, I've been looking at this one for a little while. It's like a Resident Evil clone of some sort. Um, it's a third person zombie action game, which I'm kind of interested in. Uh, if enough people are interested, maybe I'll make a video. Actually, I might make a, a first play video of that this week. This is the trophy list. Uh, it, again, it looks like a pretty standard list. You've got two golds and nine uh, silvers, which is generally like a standard trophy list. Is, is, that's what we're going to call a standard trophy list. Um, there are a couple of walkthroughs and guides. Uh, this guy here in the uh, in the forums has posted a walkthrough and it's three hours long so the game is quite short which means that maybe the platinum is a little bit easier I will say though that no one has unlocked the platinum yet this uh, finished the game on Damia mode uh, I assume it's a specific type of new game plus or difficulty probably for finishing it without dying or something like that um, is the only trophy that no one in the, no one has earned yet so either it's hard or it's glitched I'm not sure um, but this looks really interesting. I'm curious to check it out. Don't know if it's easy or not. Yeah, it could be either way. Uh, what have Invader Studios made in the past? Let's have a look. Okay, they've, they've made no other games. So this is potentially their first game. Down the rabbit hole we are. Uh, the trophy list for this went live a couple of weeks ago. This looks like a interesting puzzle game for VR. It doesn't have a platinum trophy though. It's just got a standard trophy list with uh, a couple of trophies in it. I don't really want to focus on these kind of games because uh, without a platinum, it's kind of meh. However, 
This one does look really interesting for a VR title. It looks like a really, really solid puzzle VR game. Uh, I know some people enjoy these kind of like puzzle escape room type games, and this looks to be uh, one of those. It came out on other VR platforms about a month ago uh, to varying degrees of success. It got some pretty positive reception, so it could be a solid PSVR title. So I think it's worth kind of mentioning for that alone. Dread Nautical, uh, no idea what this is. Tried to find some information out about it. Can't find anything about it online, so don't know. And there's no trophies on PSN profiles yet. Same with Gun Crazy. Uh, this is an action style shoot 'em up but no information on this one yet either. Uh, the Inner Friend, trophies went live for that today. This is a, there's no platinum on this one, unfortunately. Now this one is the one that I'm most interested in, Jigsaw Abundance. It looks terrible, like this just looks janky. I'm guessing it's a Jigsaw type game. The reason I'm interested in it is because this is exactly the kind of game that would normally have an easy platinum trophy. Uh, the thumbnail and everything just screams like this is gonna be a simple one. However, there's nothing about it online. There's no information, there's just literally nothing. So we won't know until a couple of days time when the trophy list pops. One thing to keep in mind is if you search for uh, Jigsaw on PSN profiles, there's another game called Jigsaw Solace. Now the naming convention and the logo seems similar enough to me that they could be the same developer. And this game doesn't have a platinum trophy. It looks like it's a very easy 100%, but no platinum. So I'm hoping that if it is the same developer, they've realized that they should put a platinum in their game and they have for this one. And if that's the case, then this could be a really easy platinum. I just hope they don't just make it another 100%. If they're the same developer, I don't know. But uh, Jigsaw Solace, Jigsaw Abundance kind of sound weirdly similar. So I'm guessing they're the same people. Moving Out is probably the best game on the list this week or the most interesting game on the list this week. Uh, similar to Overcooked, if you've played that game where you've got four friends and you have to all kind of cooperate and work together to, to move someone's house essentially into this truck. Uh, it's a really silly, fun looking game. The um, the trophies for it don't look super easy. There's 10% of people have got the platinum already. Uh, and the game has only just come out, I think today. So a lot of those people are probably going to be uh, reviewers and things like that. So I don't know. Uh, but the 111% the trophy here, that could be something super, super difficult. Um, Complete all story levels is probably just finishing the game. Complete all arcade levels, all objectives in every level. Complete all levels with gold medals. I know that was really hard and overcooked. Uh, similar, similar style game to that though. Um, I think for next week when we do the drop, um, I'll try and pull up trailers of all the games so we can have them overlaying while we're talking. And that way uh, you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I'm, I'm discussing the games. Even though moving out looks like it's probably gonna be a slightly harder platinum trophy, I would say it's probably the best game on this list. Uh, Sakura Wars is a game that's obviously been out for a while in Japan um, and it's just coming to other markets now. I'm not sure if this is a visual novel. No, it's not a visual novel. This looks like some sort of JRPG of some sort. Don't know a ton about this one either. But it's published by Sega, so it's like slightly higher budget of a title. It's not just an indie title released on the drop. It really doesn't give you too much of a description of what the game actually is though, uh, from, from this. SnowRunner is another one of these, uh, these truck driving simulator type titles. It's a weird one. I've played one of these before I played Mud Runners. Uh, I'm pretty sure it had a really challenging platinum trophy. This one here has got a really bronze heavy list. Let's have a look at the golds and see what those are. Complete every contract, own every vehicle, complete every task and drive through a thousand kilometers. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This one, this one could be interesting. These kind of games are always weird. Like I always have a fascination with these like playing these simulator type games and think, oh, that's gonna be really, really cool. But then when you actually get into it, it's tedious and long and time consuming. I know tons of people like these games. That's why they make so many of them. Uh, yeah, so that's SnowRunner. No, two more. Last, second last game on the list is Streets of Rage 4. Trophies for that have gone live as well. The hardest thing on this one, I had looked through it, because it's interesting that they've re-released all four of the Streets of Rage games, is the S rank. That's gonna be super, super challenging, getting S rank on all the levels. Uh, Streets of Rage is like an old school, what is it, hack and slash beat em up type game. That it's like, it came out a long, long time ago and they've just re-released all of the Streets of Rage games onto PS4 um, over the last couple of weeks, uh, which is cool. But it means um, that's certainly not gonna be an easy platinum. Uh, because of that S rank trophy. And the last game coming out this week is Telling Lies. Finally, Telling Lies is coming out. 
I made a video about this a couple of weeks ago looking at the trophy list. This one here I'm saying is, is probably going to be a pretty easy platinum as well. And it's a really good game too. So telling lies, ah, oh, someone's already, uh, already playing through it. Um, there's about four trophies on here that weren't on the uh, PC version when the game came out. So we don't know how to earn those just yet. But I'll be jumping on this one this week anyway, and I'll make a trophy guide for it, hopefully by the end of the week. So that will be up on the channel, so you'll know what to do. Um, the beauty of this game, though, is that you can play through it and enjoy the game. And there's nothing in here that's going to be missable for you, I don't believe. I think everything will be, you know, obtainable. So you can go through and not worry about too much while you're playing through this game. But uh, I would say this is like a four-hour, five-hour platinum, potentially. So yeah, that is Telling Lies. No idea what's going on with PSM profiles up here. That's the full drop for the week. People seem excited about Sakura Wars, Telling Lies, Streets of Rage. Interesting, hey, I, I think the, the highlights of the week for me is Telling Lies, definitely. I think it's going to be a, a good, solid, easy platinum, and it's going to be a good game to play as well. I think Moving Out is going to be a really solid uh, game, but it could be a challenging platinum. And then Jigsaw Abundance is the question mark. I'm hoping Jigsaw Abundance is going to be an easy platinum. Hoping. But I don't know yet. We'll know later in the week, I suppose. Uh, and then Damia. It's kind of the wild card. I don't know about that game. I'm still, like, on the fence. But I, I think it could be fun. It's, it's kind of that, like, B-grade version of Resident Evil. And I love my B-grade games. So... You know, trying to find some more information out about this Jigsaw Abundance. I found it on Nintendo Switch. Just looks terrible. But I can't find anything about the developer or who these guys are. So who knows? Still no good dog, bad dog. So we're still waiting for that one. Um, Alright guys, I'm going to end things there. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I'll look at doing these maybe on like a Saturday when the drop drops. So it's a little bit more timely. Um, I was going to try and pair it up with the EU drop and do them both at the same time. But I think there's just going to be so much crossover between the two. Uh, if there's stuff in the EU one, I can add that in later. But I figured it was better to probably get this out sooner so that people can, can kind of see it. Uh, but it could be a balancing game of when the trophies go live, when trailers go live, when the drop goes live, and kind of playing with all those things. So we'll see how we go. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up uh, and, and like this video. If you're not already a subscriber of the Platinum Trophy, then uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel immensely. And if you think this video is useful, make sure you share it with your friends. Hopefully someone else will find it useful as well. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.